Good afternoon everybody, Sam Romer here, Environmental Educator at Allwood, and today I am going to be talking about Honeysuckle. Now, the reason I want to talk about Honeysuckle now is because if you look behind me, the only thing left that still has leaves on it and that is still green is Honeysuckle. And we always hear this term, native, non-native, invasive species, or, you know, these different kind of terms thrown around, and I want to explain why Honeysuckle right now really shows why it is such an invasive species and why it is such a problematic species especially here in ohio and parts of the forest okay so another reason why this is you know a bush that spreads so easily is these berries okay now many of you know that uh this will flower in the springtime it has those you know white flowers that are you know great for hummingbirds um you know a lot of other pollinators um, it is an early, you know, flower that comes out in springtime. So it does offer, you know, a pollinating source. But these berries uh, come out, and these are essentially like candy to these birds, okay? Now, when I say candy, not as in that they love to eat them, you know, it's like addictive, but in the sense that they are very filling but offer no nutritional value whatsoever, okay? Um, and these bright red berries, whenever they're eaten and then passed by the bird, um, you know, so they eat these berries, fly somewhere else, pass it, and then the seeds drop down, boom, there's honeysuckle going to be growing there. So when you have all these different species of birds eating these uh, berries, these bright red berries, and, you know, drop them, well, guess what? That's what's going to happen. It's going to spread all out. Now, with these berries, too, there's an interesting study going on about northern cardinal and these berries. That northern cardinals are actually eating these berries more than any other food source. Now, have you ever heard the saying, if you eat something, you know, say you eat a ton of carrots, your skin may turn a, a type of orange? Well, guess what? Cardinals right now are eating these berries so much that it's actually turning their feathers to become brighter red. And when it comes to mating season, the usually you think a brighter red cardinal means better genes, but not in this case. They are just eating a lot more honeysuckle berries. So who knows what's going to happen to the genetic pool? Now this is a, a study that is currently going on, um, which is pretty interesting. So if you want to take some time, look it up, you know, it's available. Okay, before you go out and start waging war on every single green bush that you still have on your property, let's make sure we know how to identify it properly. So here we have a honeysuckle branch. You can see the leaves are opposite. And what that means is, so right here, that is the main branch growing out. And these leaves, where they grow out from that branch, are directly across from each other. Okay, so that's good indication. Of course, the leaves, you know, kind of get that pattern. If you have a kind of a picture memory, kind of like me, and you recognize patterns a lot, that's another good thing. But the biggest way um, to identify honeysuckle, because there are some native honeysuckles out there. All right, there are some native to East United States. I've only ever seen it once. I've seen the vine twice in my life. This is called trumpet vine, um, trumpet honeysuckle vine, which kind of looks like, you know, cypress vine or... Uh, you know, trumpet vine, which is another large red flower that looks like a trumpet. So when you are cutting the honeysuckle, it will have a hollow center. And you see that little dot in the center? Let's see if I can get it to focus. Non-native invasive honeysuckle will have this hollow center. So this is a pretty mature branch that I kind of cut. You can kind of see the bark. But it will have, when you cut it nice with the loppers or something, it will have that hollow bit. Native honeysuckle is solid all the way through, okay? Now, when I use these terms, native versus non-native invasive, there can be, I guess you could consider, invasive native plants. Now, they're not necessarily invasive such as honeysuckle, but they could fill an area, fill in your garden or something like that. So an example would be anything like in the mint family. You know, you plant it in a planter, it's going to spread, either through its root systems or seeding. Who knows? So you may hear those terms interchangeably or like saying a native invasive species. They are there. Doesn't mean that they're bad. Non-native, which means it was brought here from another country, so like honeysuckle is from Asia. Um, Non-native invasive species can be considered bad because they can spread and they can take over habitats. They can leave, you know, that kind of controlled area and go out into uh, our other ecosystems and kind of wreak havoc, just like honeysuckle is doing right now. Um, you know, and how a lot of these were brought here were either through landscaping um, or that they were brought here for some kind of 
use. So another invasive species called autumn olive, which is uh, kind of looks like honeysuckle, has its berries, it's a little silvery I talked about. Um, it was brought here because it's a nitrogen fixing. So a lot of reclaimed areas. Um, so if you go to a place in Ohio called AEP Recreation Lands, that is a reclaimed area. Um, and they planted a lot of autumn olive there to kind of help the soil rebuild. So it is adding nitrogen into the soil. Well, what we found out was it's gonna spread and it's gonna take over like crazy. Um, you know, so either landscaping or had some kind of use, you know, in hindsight, we realized with a lot of things that, you know, we kind of screwed up and now it's kind of invasive. Now, honeysuckle is a huge um, problem, not only because it's damaging a lot of ecosystems, but because of the cost. Um, I don't know off the top of my head, but I know it's a very, very large number that the Ohio Department of Natural Resources and Division of Wildlife across all different states too and every other state are spending a ton of money controlling honeysuckle, okay? So with that being said, I want to thank you guys for watching this week. Um, hopefully I will see you next week and take care. Have a great weekend.